Yo, what's good guys? I'll be showing some very useful NVIDIA settings that'll boost your PC's performance and color settings to make your game look much more colorful. Let's get right into it. Yo, real quick before we get into it, if you're a control player looking to improve at Fortnite, then this is for you. As control players, we're at a huge disadvantage because we don't have custom inventory buying or to have a fast and consistent reset build option. But the people at Plus Gear made this attachment called the Pro Scroller, and with it, you're able to quickly reset builds like this, and you'll never get lost in your inventory again because you can bind scroll wheel up to any weapon slot. And I have mine set to the first one, which is usually where I keep my shotgun. And this attachment is not bannable and does not mess with your aim assist. And the best thing about it is that it works on PC and on console. So if you want to try it out, the link to where you can buy is in, in the description and be sure to use code liquid 10 to get 10 percent off doing that also helps me out now let's get back to the nvidia settings and now of course we're going to pull up our nvidia control panel again if you're on windows 10 you can just right click and it should be in this menu here however if you're on windows 11 you have to right click then go to show more options then click on nvidia control panel now, after doing that click on where it says adjust image settings or preview and then after doing this make sure to click on use the advanced 3d image settings then click on take me there okay now this is what you would want your settings to look like but now we're going to go through each one of them and explain what they do and whether you should keep them on or off now image scaling of course you want that off now with ambient occlusion you want this off and the reason why it's because it's a setting that's already in the games itself but definitely keep it off and let the game control it now anisotropic filtering turn that off as well now anti-aliasing fxaa turn that off as well what it does is that it makes the ends of player models and structures blurry instead of it being sharp and jagged so just turn this off now for anti-aliasing mode of course you want that off and you turning off anti-aliasing mode will turn off the other two settings that follow right after now for background application max frame rate this setting will only be applied to games Games that are ran windowed or windowed full screen and in fortnite we prefer a full screen because it gives less input delay and high fps so because of that we're going to turn this off now for cuda gpus it's going to say all but what you want to do here is choose your graphics card and it should be selected already but if you have more than one be sure to choose the gpu that is the most powerful now for dsr factors now dsr stands for dynamic super resolution and what it does is that it renders your game at a higher more detailed resolution and then it shrinks it back down to the resolution of your monitor giving you for example 4k graphic quality on a 1080p hd screen but in all it will lower your performance a little bit so just keep this option off now for dsr smoothness of course it's going to turn off if this isn't turned on and one of the most important nvidia control panel settings that i've been preaching for a while to keep on ultra is the low latency mode now with this keep this on ultra especially for a game like fortnite and to make sure that it is activated in your fortnite make sure to load up the game on dx11 or dx12 now go into your video settings scroll all the way down and make sure to put it to on plus boost and turn it back to performance mode click on apply and then restart your game and now let's go back to the video control panel let's continue on with the rest of the settings now for the max frame rate you want this off for monitor technology you want it on fixed or refresh for multi-frame sampled aa you want that off as well for open gl rendering gpu your nvidia graphics card should be selected now for power management mode you can put this on maximum performance but what this does is that it does have your gpu running on max speeds at all times what you can do to increase the lifespan of your gpu is put it to normal and just let it do its thing but then again putting it on preferred maximum performance can lower the lifespan of your gpu honestly this is all up to you but i'm gonna put it on preferred maximum performance now prefer refresh rate and then it's gonna have the name of your monitor make sure to put this to highest available for shader cache size make sure to put it to driver default now for texture filtering and anisotropic sample have that off now for the second texture filtering option that says negative lod bias make sure to put this on allow it's a method of sharpening details on structures so put this on allow now for texture filtering quality put it on high performance and for tri-linear optimization turn this to on threaded optimization turn that on on as well for triple buffering put it to off vertical sync turn that off virtual reality pre-rendered frames put it to number one and then virtual reality variable rate super make sure that is set to off and after changing all of those settings click on apply and then let's move on with the rest of the video control panel settings now go to the adjust desktop color settings go all the way down then go to digital vibrance now what you want to do here is move this up all the way to 75% and changing it does exactly what it's supposed to and it makes your colors much more vibrant and it'll make your game go from looking like this to looking like this Now, if you want to make your colors look even better, then raise the gamma to 1.2. And this may look good or not, depending on your personal preference and depending on your monitor. But now, after you change that, also click on apply. That's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, be sure to let me know in the comment section. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.